Guys, when it comes to credibility and confidence in your survival gear, to me, there's no better place to look than the U.S. military. <laughs> I mean, over 200 years, they've had experience surviving in the wild, whatever, and especially a, an Air Force Airman survival kit. This is the U.S. Air Force Parachute Survival Kit. Uh, this is around 1980, so obviously they've had some updated versions since this time. But uh, I just thought it'd be really interesting to pull this out, show you what kind of items that the U.S. Air Force was using in the 80s and probably kind of close to what they're even using today. Because if you're trying to build your survival kit, what better resource than what the U.S. Air Force is using? Now, I bought this on eBay. There were actually two kits, one that was sealed like this one and then one that had already been opened. So we're going to go through and take a look at all the contents and maybe give you a little guide into how you need to build your survival kit. Now, the kit's covered in this little cloth pouch. And, of course, all the numbers are on here. It says pull to open. Uh, you open it up, and this is vacuum sealed. Uh, of course, this is since 1981, so, you know, the seal has looks like it's kind of, you know, lost its suction. <laughs> But, um, you know, just taking right here's a little tab, and I think you can just pull this and open it. Now, we do have the one that's already been opened, so we're going to take a look at it. Now, here we have the kit open. Of course, you have your pouch. Then we have everything in this box. And, of course, everything's numbered, which is typical for military. We have a compass. We have a knife. We have some steel wire. Two needles. Now, you'll notice these needles are pretty corroded, but these, again, have been in storage somewhere since 1981. Uh, then we have two fishing hooks. They actually come on this little card. And uh, in fact, a lot of these parts do. You can see the little places where it's set. We have matches. We have fire starter. We have what they say is a water bottle. But honestly, I believe it's just a condom. <laughs> and then we have contents. But we also have some instructions for certain things. Now, this is all based on having paracord. And, of course, if you're parachuting, you're going to have the, the seven strands of paracord, and you can use it for threading your needle. Uh, you can use it to set your traps and your, you know, snares. Um, you know, there's a lot of different things you can do with paracord itself. So you've got that in abundance. These are just things to be able to give you tools to be able to use it. The knife that's included is one of the traditional stag-handled knives. Uh, it is very small, as you can see. It does have a larger blade. Uh, this is made by Colonial, and so these are made in the USA. Good vintage pocket knife. And then we have three different blades that you can use for whatever. Uh, I'd kind of think it'd be neat to have a can opener on here or something like that, but these are definitely usable. The compass has a brass ring around it, and it definitely works. I'm going to open up our water container, <laughs> and uh, just don't slip this in your billfold. But uh, definitely, we know what this is. Uh, but, you know, I have done a video on, you know, using condoms for a number of different uses. This is really a viable survival tool. Guys, you got to improvise to survive. <laughs> now, next, we have five safety matches with striking strip. Tells you to tear here. It's foil. Open this up. The matches are actually taped to the back of your striker. So you've got that, you've got five matches in each pack, and then you have a striker. Let's just go ahead and see if these things work, even after all these years. Wow. <laughs> Good stuff. And then here we have the fire starter, and uh, this has some old tape around it. Now this is wrapped up in tin foil. You can see there's a little red area here. I'm not really sure. That may be where you really light the fire, but uh, it's going to give you fire starting capability, and we're going to try it out. There is a medium and small hook, and uh, you do have your monofilament line that's connected to it. So you can actually attach this to a stick or whatever. You can improvise. And also, again, your paracord. You can use it to make a, a long fishing line. And the snare wire is just really thin, but definitely usable, and it's wound up. So uh, there you go. Now we're going to see how well this works, and we're using the, the actual matches that came with it. Well, that's why we have five. Wow, okay. <laughs> now that's impressive. Yeah, that front really catches on fast. And then the other will burn longer. So that gets your fire started and you're ready to go. Yeah, that is going to burn for a while. So this is an excellent fire tender. I'm not really sure what this is, but I think I'm going to find out. 
it's pretty neat to see this old vintage survival kit but guys you can take a lot of cues from what they have in here this is still a viable uh, survival kit and again definitely if the US Air Force was using these uh, you know they've had a lot of experience in survival and this definitely would be something to base a survival kit on and just add paracord and you're all set to go now these kits were not cheap between the two it was $99 and plus shipping but uh, I just thought it'd be cool to bring to you guys to see something a little different and from a source that really knows what they're talking about. And guys, if you're serious about prepping and survival, check out Survival Dispatch Insider, the best resource on the web for survival and prepping. Uh, there's a lot of world-renowned contributors that are there. Uh, we upload one exclusive video a week to the Survival Dispatch Insider. I'll have a link down below. Check it out. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. <laughs>